What's up YouTube? Uh, I want to give you guys an educational video on how I prepare my salt and how I calculate uh, my salt per gallons as far as uh, matching salinity and also a way to save money and you know prepare for the upcoming months of water changes to make sure that you have enough salt to do your water changes and um, you know proper ways of doing it and what not to do and what to look out for. So I know many of you asked, uh, what kind of salt do I use? I use uh, Instant Ocean Reef Crystals. Uh, I've had great results. I mean, I've been using it since day one of my uh, saltwater hobby career. Uh, my tank set, 77 degrees and 8.32 pH. Um, it's been pretty stable. At night, it gets down to about 8.15. Um, but I dose, so you know my calcium and alkalinity levels are pretty stable. And that's part of the reason why I'm bringing this up because I actually just ran a calcium and alkalinity test after I did a water change and the Instant Ocean Reef Crystals um, pretty much kept up to his word as far as calcium and magnesium. Now, you can see in the back, a uh, specific gravity of 21 will give you 370 and 1095 and at 26 it gives you 455 and 1345. Now those are pretty good numbers, um, but most of you um, might not run your salinity that high. Uh, it might be around 23, 24. If you're running a fish only, it'll probably be about a 21. So I came up, like I said, with an equation um, how to get those numbers because the explanation it gives you here on the bucket, uh, it's really not too clear. I don't know if it's uh, going to focus in for you. But it says uh, to prepare small quantities, uh, use a half a cup. So if you're only making a couple of gallons, use a half a cup. Um, also says down here, note 1.4 pounds of reef crystals in five gallons. It gives you a specific gravity of 21. Now, it tells you in the front that it's reef crystals. So nobody runs their reef at uh, 21. So it gives you 160 gallons and I can tell you right now you're not going to get 160 gallons uh, out of that if you're running your uh, salinity any higher than 21 so to get to it I made an equation uh, excuse my uh, mess with all my little notes but you know it's the stuff that happens when uh, you're trying to figure stuff out but so the instant ocean reef crystals makes five gallons at 21 specific gravity with 1.4 pounds so 1.4 pounds actually breaks down into three or 635 grams now if you want to do this for yourself go to Google and just you know search for the conversions and they can do all the numbers for you uh, if you want to do the math for your you know for yourself so 1.4 pounds breaks to 635 grams then you take the 635 grams, divide that by the 5 gallons, because that's what it tells you it makes. So you divide it by the 5 gallons, you get 127 grams per gallon. Now 127 grams per gallon should give you the salinity of 21. So you divide uh, the 127 by the 21, the specific gravity, and it gives you 6.05 grams per specific gravity. So the 6 0.05 grams is basically like you know the 21 22 23 24 25 26 so every time you add six grams to a gallon uh, the salinity will go from 21 to 22 so what I did was I did 6.05 grams times 25 which is my desired uh, specific gravity and it gives me 151 grams per gallon so I take the 151 grams per gallon and I times that by the amount of gallons that I want to make so I want to make 25 gallons. So if you've seen my mixing station, it holds 25 gallons. So that's what I make. And that requires 3,775 grams of reef salt to create that. So how do we break it down? So the 3,775 3, grams, divide that by 454 grams, which is how many grams are in a pound. It breaks down to 8.3 pounds. Okay, now just like the side of the bucket it tells you 1.4 um, pounds 
it's supposed to give you the specific gravity of 21. And it doesn't really break it down into cups because we all use, you know, cups to mix our salt. So you got to kind of figure out, um, you know, what does that break down to into cups? So I basically figured it out with this. Now I have one of those um, small digital scales, you know, like for jewelry or whatever. Um, you can pick them up at like a tobacco shop. Uh, I live in Chicago, so you can get them at any tobacco shop. Now I actually put a quarter cup onto the scale and it weighed 75 grams exactly. So, you know, I just did the math. Half a cup, 150. One cup, 300. So, the 3,775 grams, I divided that by 300 grams, which gave me 12.58 cups which I roughly broke it down to 12 and a half cups to make 25 gallons at a salinity of 25. So basically, um, say you want to make a salinity of 23, you take the 6.05 times 23, you get your number in grams, and then you take the number in grams and multiply by how many gallons you want to make, and then you do the conversion um, to figure out how many cups it's going to be. But the Instant Ocean Reef Crystals, this is how much it weighs in a quarter cup, 75 grams. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know it was a little confusing, uh, it's a little bit of a mess, but you know, I figured I'd give you guys something to help you out. So when you want to do water changes for the next couple months, uh, you, you can actually know how much to buy. and stuff like that so what I broke it down to let's put this back down what I broke it down to is a 160 gallon bucket at uh, specific gravity 21 you'll get that out of the bucket that says 160 now if you're making that a specific gravity of 25 you're actually only gonna get 134 gallons so look out for that guys um, also the big box comes out to 25,399 grams uh, divide that by 300 which is uh, grams per cup gives me 84 cups um, half a cup per gallon so divide that by two gives me 169 um, gallons out of the box so uh, the box is it says 200 gallons but that's at specific gravity 21 so I figure at a 25% water change, which is 25 gallons on a 100 gallon system, I should be able to get 6.7 water changes out of it, which should last me basically three months uh, a box of reef crystals. So if I buy two boxes of reef crystals, let's say I go to that pet place and I get the free shipping where I can order um, two boxes for $47.59, 90 bucks, I get the free shipping, you know, you got salt for a half a year. So that's just one way to do it. If you're running a reef system, um, you know, that's a good good way to put it at salt 25. Um, if you're running the fish only, you'll obviously get the advertised gallons on the side of the box. But other things to keep in account, guys. I know I'm going to try not to make this too extensive, but it also notes that recommended range is at 77 uh, degrees Fahrenheit so when you're mixing your salt and trying to get it at specific gravity make sure that see this is uh, a little high so I wouldn't actually count that but I do have heated floors so I get into trouble sometimes it gets kind of hot I got this fan here to cool down uh, with that in mind if your water heats up and you cool down the salinity may go up because of evaporation so it's always good to make sure and double check right before you put it in your tank to make sure that your salt levels are correct. Now, here are two different salt checkers, or whatever you want to call these things, uh, the Instant Ocean and Core Life. Now my Instant Ocean is a little over, I don't know if it's going to focus for you, a little over 21, and this one's near to 22. Now which one is correct? I don't know so I go by this now very very important to calibrate this before you use it this says to calibrate at 35 ppt and it also states at 77 degrees Fahrenheit now if your tank is sitting at 77 degrees Fahrenheit 
I would take that little bottle and let it rest somewhere in the sump uh, till it becomes, you know, 77 degrees. Shouldn't take uh, too long, you know, five, ten minutes, and then calibrate your um, refractometer and you know just make sure it's it's correct you know t take your time doing it don't rush water changes make sure it's right you want to make the water change as easy as possible to these guys to make them feel like nothing happened so another thing to do too is add an air stone to your uh, new salt mix that you're gonna put in why because uh, RODI water or tap water anything that you're using has a buildup of CO2 and you kind of want to have some of it released, uh, create an equilibrium between the oxygen and the CO2. You know, kind of get the levels just right because, see the ORP on my tank, I don't know if you can see, it's four, 403. When you do a water change, you'll notice a, uh, a shift in your ORP. Uh, either the oxygen levels were low or the oxygen levels were high and, you know, stuff like that. And when there's no oxygen in the tank, the fish can't breathe. So you gotta make sure you aerate the water, get the CO2 out. Um, besides that, guys, um, I know it did mention um, the calcium and magnesium levels. Uh, from my experience on this tank, 25% uh, uh, water change actually kept my calcium and magnesium right where it's supposed to be. Uh, the reef crystals do carry uh, high alkalinity so if you do a lot of water changes with this stuff, uh, be careful with the alkalinity. You'll probably get it up to like 10 or 11, uh, sometimes up to 12, depending on how big you do the water change. But uh, keep an eye on the alkalinity especially. Uh, but the magnesium and calcium pretty, uh, holds pretty good. But uh, I hope you enjoyed, guys. I just wanted to share this with you real quick. And uh, hopefully it's useful to some of you out there. Happy reefing.